Thanks for tuning into the top 10 jaw dropping facts. Please don't forget to subscribe and new videos are released every Monday through Friday. The top 10 quotes we have learned from The Rock. Number 10. Know your role and stay well focused in achieving those goals. Being respectful and nice is one trait that everyone cherishes. It's what our parents have taught us right from the beginning. In fact, we are mentally trained to respect our elders and ourselves in the process. But, when it comes to striving for success, you need to put all the respect aside and focus. As a big achiever in life, you need to tone down your attitude and approach to things in a fierce way. You need to show yourself that you are determined. If you really want to smell the sweetness of success, then you have to become someone who is ready to kill for it. Only then success comes your way. Hence, you will have to put aside all the small stuff that can bother you or create hindrances. Mr. Rock is a bold man and throughout his wrestling career, he educated the world that one should never settle for anything that hurts their self-respect. You have to become that person who has enough confidence to tell others to shut their mouths when they are foul-mouthing behind your back. If you know your role in life, if you know your goals, then don't let anyone tell you how to achieve them. Number 9. Blood, sweat, and respect, first two you give, last one you earn. If you want to earn greatness in life, then you have to be consistent. Without consistency, you can easily find yourself in the trenches of disasters within no time. For instance, if you commit to complete a task, then give your 110% every day in achieving it. If you aren't doing good enough, you're losing. Even though, if what you aimed for remained unachieved, you will at least come out of it as a different person. You will become a more trained, more polished and more experienced person than before. Just like Mr. Dwayne Johnson would get into the ring and compete for the world heavyweight title. Many times, he would lose a match, a match that was already in his hands. The crowd would be cheering for him like crazy, but tragically, things wouldn't turn out to be in his favor and he would lose. But, one thing that we can't ever forget about Mr. Rock is that seldom had we seen him disappointed. In fact, later on, many wrestlers tried to prove themselves to him, but only a few earned his respect. A person is known not for the times he has fallen, but for the times he stood back up and persistently worked his way to reach the top. Remember the story of King Robert Bruce and the Spider? Nothing in life is given, whatever comes your way, you have to work hard to achieve it, to win it. And once you are able to achieve it, then you reach a higher level of greatness where no one can deny you. Number 8. Determined to take control over the situation. Here's what happened when Dwayne Johnson was only 14 years old. He came back with his mother and found an eviction notice attached to the door of his house with a padlock on it. Plus, he saw that his mother's car got repossessed. At the time, the family was living in a tiny one-bedroom flat in Honolulu. His mother broke down into tears and watching her cry like that, Dwayne made a vow to himself, Dwayne knew, at the time he was only 14 and couldn't get a job that would pay the rent. But, he knew he had to do something, so young Dwayne started helping his mother to turn the situation around. Soon he realized, it occurred to me that all of the men I knew who had achieved success were all men of great physical stature, and I knew that they all got that way through sweat equity, putting calluses on their hands. So in my mind, the key was simple, I'd continue going to the gym and work harder than before, and then I'd follow their path to greatness. Since then, he started working out two days a week initially. And soon he realized that he was destined to become a bodybuilder, a pro athlete and a wrestler just like his father. He knew if he doesn't want to see his mother shed a single tear ever again, he will have to work out double time and get ripped. He trained harder and harder and eventually turned into a world-class powerful athlete. Number 7. Work hard, always. Dwayne Johnson was 13 years old when he had his first weight workout, but he'd been accompanying his dad, legendary wrestler Rocky Johnson, to the gym since he was much younger than that, maybe 5 or 6. Some of his oldest memories are triggered by the smell of sweat and rust and chalk, and of the hollow clanging sound 45-pound plates make when they're slid onto a cold rolled steel bar and slapped against one another. Although he wasn't allowed to touch the weights at that time, it was enough for him just to sit quietly on a bench and watch his father pound the iron. Number 6. Persistence Pays 
When he was eight years old, Dwayne's parents allowed him to participate in sports, baseball, soccer, martial arts, and gymnastics. Sometimes his dad would wrestle with him, bending his wiry frame into knots, toughening him up for the hard knocks to come. Dwayne was dying to lift weights like his dad, but he'd have to give it a few more years. Then, at long last, the day came when Dwayne could finally step into a gym and do something other than sit around and watch the adults have all the fun. He was 13, and it was a Saturday, and he was ready to put all his years of fascinated observation to use. The bench press was an obvious first choice. Rocky started his son out with an empty bar. The kid handled it easily, none of the shaking you'd expect from a newbie, so they load a pair of 25s onto it. No problem. The kid makes his old man, and himself, proud. Number 5. Have a sense of purpose. Dwayne had seen his mother cry before, but not like this. They had just come home to an eviction notice and a padlock on the door of their tiny one-bedroom efficiency flat in Honolulu, when all the years of struggling to make ends meet as the wife of an itinerant professional wrestler seemed to come crashing down upon Ada Johnson, and she wept as hard as she ever had. It was then and there that 14-year-old Dwayne Douglas Johnson made a vow to himself. I was determined to take control of the situation, he said. I would never be homeless again, and I'd never, ever see my mom cry like that again. Number 4. Without control, strength can become weakness. Between the ages of 14 and 15, training went well for Duane. By the time he entered high school he had grown to a towering 6-4 inches and tipped the Toledo at 225 pounds this gave him a healthy dose of self-confidence, and even a degree of arrogance. But for all the focus and discipline he showed in the gym, his unstable home life left him directionless outside of it. I was running around and getting in trouble a lot, said Johnson. I was arrested multiple times for a multitude of things, from fighting to a theft ring to check fraud to more fighting. I did a lot of stupid shit and struggled to stay on the right path. Number 3. See the signs around you. That night, when he went home, Dwayne felt pangs of guilt running through him like the pain from a deadlifting session gone wrong. As opposed to the eight or nine times he'd been arrested and his multiple expulsions from school. This time he couldn't shake the feeling that if he didn't take responsibility for his actions and turn things around quickly he might not get the chance to turn them around at all. Number 2. When in doubt, go back to basics. Under the watchful eye of Coach Quick, Dwayne steadily improved, both as a student and as an athlete. By the time he was a high school senior he was ranked one of the top 10 defensive tackles in the nation and was offered a scholarship to the University of Miami. He jumped on the opportunity like a loose ball. At Miami, his combination of size, strength, athleticism, and work ethic made Duane a standout from the moment he first stepped onto the field. Finally, at 18, and with a lifetime worth of mistakes and heartaches behind him, Dwayne Johnson was cooking with gas. Number 1. Failure is a virtue? Others in Dwayne Johnson's position might choose to sweep their history under the rug, ashamed of the mess and how it might appear, but not Dwayne. To him, there's a sublime beauty in life struggles, and he knows that just as he owes his mountainous biceps and barn door wide shoulders to years of strain and pain, so, too, are his successes made possible by earlier losses. I always want to remind people of my past, because it is directly responsible for who I am today, he said. It's undeniable that I'm a product of those tough times. I am a product of the most challenging times of my life. And that's the value of them. They shape you and they mold you, and so, I was formed by these lessons at a very young age. Thanks for tuning into the top 10 jaw dropping facts. Please don't forget to subscribe, and new videos are released every Monday through Friday.